Hey lovely artists, today we're making a super cool luchador because it's Cinco de Mayo. And for that we're gonna need paper, something to draw with, I'm using a black marker, and something to color with. Okay, so we're gonna start on the top of the paper and a little bit to the right we're gonna do an oval shape. So we're gonna go around and we're gonna close it right here. And now we're gonna continue with the eyes. So we're gonna do a little bit of a line here to the left and another one exact the same thing to the right. Now we're gonna do diagonal lines that come down a little bit. So one here and the same line in the other side. Now let's do the same lines on the bottom part. So one, and two and now we're just gonna close those um, lines so those it's kind of like a square right the next thing is the mouth so we're gonna do two lines that come down one in each side of the face and now we're gonna close it but if you notice I'm doing like a little bit of a curvy line it's not quite straight and in the in the top part is, is the same it's a little uh, curvy now we're gonna do the teeth so for the teeth i'm just gonna use like u shapes kind of like a u shape u shape and i want to fit here four teeth on the top and we're gonna fit four teeth on the bottom and they kind of like touch each other you see now uh we're gonna do the inside of the eyes we really did the hole for the mask eyes but now we're gonna do the eyes eyes so for that i'm making a diagonal line and then uh, I'm gonna make a half a circle for the eye let's do the same on the other side let's do one line and then half a circle for the inside of the eyes I'm just making like a half a circle teeny tiny one and I'm filling that with black but I'm leaving a little bit of white to do it as shiny the next thing we're doing is we're going to line uh, the mask, like kind of like outline the eyes and the mouth, put in a little bit more details for the mask. So for that, I'm doing kind of like lines, just following the same um, lines we did for the eyes and the mouth. And I'm just going around and that's going to give me a little bit of more detail for the mask. And I'm just going to finish this putting little lines that uh, make it look like stitches on on this mask so i'm gonna do one on the top and then i will do uh, a few on the sides that's it for the mask okay now we're gonna continue with the body and we're gonna do just a diagonal line that comes down and let's do the same line in the other side okay now Let's go back to uh, the left side and we're going to do another diagonal line but now going in the other direction down. The same thing we're going to do in the right side. Right there. Okay, now um, let's do a straight line that comes down. So we're going to separate the arm and we're going to continue with the Tommy and this time the curvy line goes a little up. I'm going to do another line in the other side for the other arm. And I'm going to put a little detail there for uh, giving a little bit more shape to the arm and another line going down. Okay, next we're going to do the fingers. So for that, I'm just doing like a half a circle. I close the first one and then another one. And let's do one more little one right there. So that's the fingers. Let's continue with the pants. So for that, we're going to do a little bit of a curvy line that goes down. And then we're going to do one more line there uh, that goes straight, straight down. And then one more down here, little one. That's kind of like the knee of the first leg. So now let's go to the other side. And instead of doing the knee, we're just going to do a straight line down, a little bit of curvy. And then another little line and then we're going to join the first line I did and with a U shape we're joining these two. Now we're going to do the boots. So for that we're doing little lines that go down 
and let's do the same in the other one like one and two and if you see uh, we start like big on the top and now his boots are like his feet are little compared with his the rest of his body right so that's the boots the chest just two lines and a little dot for the belly button and two little dots for the chest details and the last thing we're gonna do is the cape so the cape is gonna go in a funny shape so it's gonna go like one curvy line first and then we're gonna go from this point up and we're gonna come back down and now we're gonna start going down a little bit with a diagonal line and then start curving and now we're gonna go up a little so kind of like very pointy line and then a curvy line that goes to the end of his uh, to, to do his pants and now just two little lines for detail on the cape the last detail is gonna be a line that goes right under his head and that's where the cape is tied in and then that's it good job you did it we did a luchador and now let's go for the fun part let's color See you next time.